Uh, it's actually doing pretty good, though. 140 miles an hour. Is it going to make us take flight, though? Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's go. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to another episode of Which Automation Car Mod Can Jump the Farthest on Car Jump Arena, episode 30 freaking 5. Today we have a massive episode, and by that I mean a lot of the vehicles are very large in stature. Um, I don't know how that's going to equate to distance flown, but uh, it should be a lot of fun either way. If you guys enjoy this content, and this series and you want to see more make sure to hit that like button down below with that let's get right into it shall we <laughs> oh boy we're starting out strong aren't we uh the 2022 duke t1500 drek america edition so is this just a absolutely dripped out truck it is <laughs> it is and is this supposed to be the founding freaking fathers in the back of the truck with the uh, bald ego. Oh my goodness gracious. That's the most American truck I've ever seen. Now, what are we packing under the hood here? Is this going to be insanely fast? It sounds like it. Oh boy. Is that eagle going to make us soar? Oh my goodness. This is quick. 200 miles an hour in a truck. Oh my God. Past the 400, nearly to the 500 mark. In a truck, the founding father's holding up pretty good, I would say. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, we're not going to drown it in the pool. Not today. My goodness. I wish this would have... Uh, I wish I would have seen this on the 4th of July. I don't know if this mod was out on the 4th, but it would have been uh, pretty nice. But, you know, it's still July. Uh, the, uh, America's birth month, so we'll take it. Anyway, <laughs> what a masterpiece. It doesn't get more American than that you gotta love it man <laughs> uh drastic change this is the uh potato peel p50 wait what is this called yes the potato peel p50 v2 the smallest potato car i've ever seen but uh is it fast though that's the question why is this a thing that's another question i don't know but it sounds good the engine's gonna explode isn't it I can feel it. I can feel 100 miles an hour, though. Not bad. There we go. One, there goes the engine. 128 miles an hour. That should get us past the 200 mark, baby. Yes. Landing in one piece in one spot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Sank like a sack of potatoes, literally. Oh my goodness gracious. It's not, not looking like a, a potato anymore. More like mashed potatoes. I'm sorry. That joke was just uh, just too easy to make, I guess. Anyway, I'm sure this took thousands of hours to make. And honestly, it paid off. <laughs> it definitely paid off. The uh, potato peel P50. Beautiful. Next up. Oh my goodness. We have the Anarchy AVA. A another beautiful hypercar from anarchy here uh let's take a look on the inside actually oh look at this command center baby what do all these switches do i don't know but i want to find out man this is an absolute rocket on wheels i can tell and it's making some strange sounds is this an electric car i mean no there's exhaust coming out so i guess not but man we have tony stark's <laughs> arc reactor thing at the front oh my god okay i gotta see what this thing can do it has nos as well let's go ahead and engage that for maximum speed oh my goodness oh my god 200 miles an hour 230 yeah and gravity brings us right back down <laughs> The backfire of this is immense. But uh, yeah, I guess the body, sh the shape of this car just is made to hug it to the ground. So doesn't exactly equate to a lot of distance on the car and jump arena, but I am sure this thing is an absolute beast. 
on the track. Look at the speed, man. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, buddy, the, that acceleration is brutal. Let's get it into the pool. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Anyway, the, yeah, the, uh, the Anarchy AVA. Absolute work of art, man. I want, I, I honestly might take this to the track off recording just to mess around with this. Cause they, I don't know. It feels like it would see, be so good around the track. Um, okay. This next one I'm a little confused about. This is the Boab Epic and it just looks so ridiculous that I couldn't I couldn't pass it up. Now, is this a reference to something? I have no idea, but it just looks absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. It has everything, man. Wings, dual engine, triple engines. It's a, it's a eyelashes. Apparently it has, it's a limo <laughs> jet engines. Apparently. I don't know. This is a weird piece of machinery, but, uh, oh my God, look at all the exhaust. How many do you freaking need? It looks like a centipede, man. It's like a centipede. I like the portholes on the side of the car. That's kind of cool. Anyway, let's see if this thing flies. <laughs> There's two knights on the front for some reason. I have so many questions. It sounds really good though. Is it going to fly? Let's find out. No. Oh no. Back flopping it. Oh my goodness. Horrible accident. We're going to go into the pool, aren't we? Yep. Seriously, how many exhausts are there right here? <laughs> 50, 60? I, I don't even know. This is the first person view. Isn't it beautiful? The Chrome Knights on the front here. At least, I mean, I can kind of see through, but this is just so strange to me. I, I don't get it. I guess I, you don't have to understand art to appreciate it, but my goodness, what is this? Oh God. Oh, they're dead. They're dead. Oh, they're gone. No. My knights in shining armor. Oh, we're getting some rolls in this time. My goodness. But, uh, hey, we lit two for two in the pool. Not bad. We're soaking today, fellas. All righty. So this next one is a twofer. Now, this is the iron horse. And it's already awesome. It's beautiful work of art. Love the matte kind of steel uh, color we got going on here. But there's actually a second part to this mod. Uh, it's a giant trailer, so I'm going to spawn that up right now. If we go over to vehicles, it is this one right here, the camper trailer, and it fits perfectly, man. They have the exact same aesthetic. Let's check this out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the luxury, man. We got the flat screen. We got the bed in the back. Oh, my God. Where's the bathroom? Is this the bathroom? I'm guessing that's... <laughs> Oh, is that a, oh, we got a, oh yeah, we got a chimney or a fireplace as well. The fridge, this thing is absolutely decked out. Now, let's see, hold on, where's my camera? Let's see if we can uh, back this thing up. We have the, uh, the port, I guess you'd call it in the, in the top here. Can we get it in? Go on, get in there. Get in there, <laughs> come on. Are they not supposed to, is this not supposed to connect to this? Am I dumb? Connect. It has the connections. Oh, my bad. Is it because it's not blue, a blue connection? Do I have to add something to the car? That's super strange. I could have, I could have sworn that these two mods go to go. I mean, they look like they would, right? Weird, weird. Hold on. I'll see if I can, uh, fifth wheel. Fasteners. Oh, receiving hitch. Hold up. Maybe it just wasn't on there by default. Many hours later. So I've been messing around with this for a while and I can't get these freaking things to connect. I, I even changed out some of the parts, but I don't know. I don't know if you made this mod. Can you help me in the comments? Cause I want to see this through, but for now, let's just try this. Let's just see what this thing can do. Cause it's awesome in its own right. There we go. It sounds fantastic. Look at that little thing nub at the top. <laughs> it's where it's supposed to connect, man. I don't know, but here we go. Can we front flip it? Oh, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> we gonna make it to the pool again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And straight to the bottom of the pool. Man, I am upset. I want this to work. 
I want this to work so bad, but yeah, I guess it's just not meant to be. At least right now. We might have to come back to this one, though, for sure. All right, next up, we got a race truck, the Leaker Motors LTYX. The, the wing on this and the thumbnail looks absolutely insane, so I'm a little bit terrified of it. Uh, but let's see. Oh, my goodness gracious. What? <laughs> What is the need for that? What are the chances this makes it to the bottom of the hill, that wing, without flying off? Not good. Uh, if it's if it's made out of anything but uh, cardboard, held up with duct tape. Uh, it's actually doing pretty good, though. 140 miles an hour. Is it going to make us take flight, though? Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's go. 400 nearly. Oh my goodness, that is actually a well-made wing, I will say. It's a little, it seems a little oversized, but you know, it got the job done. I actually want to do that again, because uh, I want to see the way it, it picks up the front of the truck into the air. That was really cool, actually. Let's get a, an instant replay on that. Here we go! Yes! Beautiful! <laughs> we land straight on the wing, though. Just kind of bananas the truck. Oh, we're coming in hot. Oh, but both pieces make it into the pool. That's what you love to see right there. Oh my God, this is loud. <laughs> this is awesome though. This is a steam car and we might be going out with a little bit of a fizzle here because I'm not expecting this to be super fast, but my goodness, look at this. It's so cool. Sounds like a train. Oh my god. That's so oh. Did we blow the engine already? I don't even care. It's a steam powered car. What more could you want? There it goes. <laughs> there it goes. I don't even know if that makes sense, but you know. Here we go! Look at all that coal in the back as well. Oh no. Beautiful machine just absolutely destroyed. Oh my god, that poor, poor vehicle. This should be in a museum. Can we make it to the pool, though? We might actually. Go, go, go. No! Just short. Let's let's uh, cool it off a little bit. We'll, we'll, we'll help it out a bit here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Into the pool you go. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of which automation car can jump the farthest on car jump arena. I'm getting good at saying that, man. It's kind of a tongue twister, but when you say it a hundred billion times, uh, you start to get pretty good at it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And you know what, guys? I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.